Hi everyone, so we're on lesson three of the probability pack um, and we're going to do conditional probability. So it's a probability that, that something has already happened first, that it must have happened first. I open the door and then I walk out the door type of thing. I don't just walk through the door. So it says here, the probability that event A happens given that. So the given that bit is telling you that something's already happened, that B is over there. Now they've got a straight line, but if you look at it, a lot of the time people do it as like a, a backslash. So it's a straight line down on here, but it'll be seen as a backslash in other bits. So, so A, it's a probability that A happens given that B has already happened. So we've got an example here. There's two main ways of doing it. You can just kind of work out the probabilities that we have like a, a specific equation to do it with. So we're just going to work out probabilities for this bit and then the next bit, which may be lesson four, or I might cram it into lesson three so we've got a bit more time, uh, is, um, is using a specific formula, which is in the formula booklet. So example one, we've got a tree diagram. So we've got nine counters, six of which are blue. So I know I've got six out of nine. And the rest are yellow, so I know that's three out of nine. Two counters are drawn at random without replacement. So it's the without replacement which is the important bit. That's what makes it conditional because we've taken something out and the next bit has to have happened after the first bit. Whereas if they're independent, they don't really matter. So if I take out a blue, I'm down to five out of eight. Now that probability is switched. It's changed, those outcomes have changed because I picked a blue and that would be just a three out of eight. But if I did the bottom one, because I picked a yellow, I'm down to two left out of eight. So that's been conditional because it's been given that the, the yellow has been taken out. So it's linked to it, it's linked to what's happening beforehand. Now what I could do is, this B2 can be written and this is like, I remember doing this at school when I was at college and I had a really, really bad teacher who taught me stats, hated stats, absolutely hated it. He just read from a textbook. And if you asked him a question, he just went, the answer is in the textbook. So clearly looking back, he didn't have a clue what's going on. So I remember doing stuff like this, thinking, what the hell's going on? So all it means is it's just linked. All it is, it's linked to what's happened before it. So kind of this bit here, this B2, what I'm saying is, um, it's kind of like, it's B2 is going to happen given that B1 has already happened. And so like this one here, it's, uh, oh, wrong bit, which is Y. It's the yellow on the second pick up given that the B1 has already happened. So you kind of come across conditional, like conditionality before, but never really understood why or how that great of that. So there's nothing in that question, is there? It's, oh no, hang on. So find the probability that they both have the same colour. So that's just going to be, uh, hang on. Where's it gone? There. So the probability of the same colour will be B1 and B2, or yellow 1 and yellow 2. So everything's just the same. It's just having an appreciation that the 5 over 8 has changed because something specific has happened on the first bit, and the 3 over 9 changed into a 2 over 8. Uh, so what have we got then? I'm going to work this out so it's not on the pack. That was a lot easier than I thought. <laughs> Bit down to a half. Never mind. I might have done some of the maths wrong, who knows? Right, there you go. So that's that first example there. So we've worked it out, and I get a half. Could be wrong, who knows? Right, so we've got a, a, a two way table. So you have to decide with these am I choosing from the whole table or am I choosing from parts of the table? So it helps to have some totals. So what have I got? So I've got 19, 21, 27. People play forward, 
Uh, 15, 17, 23 people play back. So in total, I've got 50 people there. I've got 12 Irish, 4 Scots, uh, 12 Welsh, and 22 English. So what I've got to think about, if it wasn't conditional, I'm choosing out the full 50. If it is conditional, I'm choosing out of the people that I want. Right, so part A says, um, calculate the probability of the player is English. So the player being English is just 22 out of 50, so 11 out of 25. Uh, And what's important about this, and I change colours, but I change the size of it probably as well, it has not. So what's important about this is it's out of all of the players. So I'm choosing from all of the players with that one specifically. Whereas with conditionality, oh look, it's just said there. I'm choosing out of just specific people. So B says it's Irish, and given that. The player was a bank. So I want the probability of them being Irish, I for Irish, given that the player is a bank. Now I'm only choosing out of the banks. So let's have a look. So if I'm choosing just out of the banks, I'm choosing for part B just out of here. So Irish is six people out of. 23. And once again, this is nothing new. It's nothing new for you. Um, hang on, let me change that. Oh god, it's changed so. But I'm also I'm only out of, so it's only out of, of banks. So you've probably done it before, but it's just kind of having that formality to say that to them doing something slightly different. So C says the probability of a forward, given that the player is not Scottish. Right, so uh, I'm picking out of the people who are not Scottish. So there's only four Scottish people, so I know I'm choosing out of 46 people who are not Scottish. And then how many forwards have I got in the people who are not Scottish? So that's 25 people. The 14, the 5, and the six, that's 25 people. So I'm a little oh, stuffed up right now because I could change the size. I've got to remember to do that instead of pressing the button down below. Not that you're much bothered. So this is only out of not Scottish. I hope that kind of made sense on how I selected those numbers. Now there's one for you to have a go at. So I'll give you a little bit of time to have a go at that one. So put your totals in. Um, I'll just remove this. Delete. 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 You'd think, based on the fact that my stats teacher was rubbish, that I'd absolutely hate stats. But when I did my masters, which was all to do with like maths and and uh, fluid dynamics and stuff like that. There was quite a lot of stats in there because you were running, you were collecting data and you were looking at the probability of stuff happening while you were doing it. So I was quite shocked with the amount of stats. So if you don't like it, tough, get used to it. So there's, there's, uh, there's it now. There's a Venn diagram question. Up to nine minutes, I'm going to stop. And I'll do a Venn diagram separate. 